Construction of Highway 400 began in 1944. The highway was open to traffic with one lane in each direction on December 1st, 1951, and two lanes in each direction July 1st, 1952, at which time the highway was designated Highway 400. Lloyd has a story to talk about uh, the construction of Highway 400. Okay, it's a bit of a different story. Uh, the majority of you people here will know the names of Norm and Patsy Bosomworth. They were very active in the community, um, in institute, and just great community people. Well, they lived east of 400 Highway on the 11th line on the north side of the road. And at one point in time when they were doing some of this construction, not as early as this, because for me to know this, it's got to be a couple years later than this. Uh, but they were doing some excavation of some lower grade gravel on the Bosomworth property, and all of a sudden they came across a skeleton. Well, you can imagine things came to a grinding halt, and there was an investigation. Well, everything really came to a grinding halt when they found out that it was an Indian burial ground. And if you've gone up on the hill at Bosomworth, or if you come up that ridge on 400 Highway, that actually is a ridge that divides water flowing north to Georgian Bay and south to Lake Ontario. And uh, so it was an extremely high vantage point, and you can imagine going back in time, if you uh, were a native group, and all of a sudden, if you wanted to see where your competition or your enemies were, you could go from that ridge and almost look 20 or 30 miles in all directions and see if there was any smoke or anything like that. So you could become very, very easily aware of uh, who was in your neighborhood. And as a result of that find, uh, the Royal Ontario Museum actually did an archaeological dig up there and they were up there for a couple of years um, researching that and they, at one point in time they said that it was one of the more complete settlements that they had actually found in this area. So it's just a neat little um, difference and a little twist that I kind of put on it. Um, it's kind of like my warp personality. But people often wonder why there's so many accidents between 88 and 89. <laughs> I think the Indian burial ground has been disturbed and there's some spirits out there that are causing some problems. <laughs>